Okay, so I'm here. I'm in the front yard right now. So I'm going to kind of walk out and show you how this is. So there is a tie wall and we do have an elevated street. So right now I'm standing in the front yard and you can see how it is elevated. So I think probably what is going to be what you're going to wonder about most is this slope that is right here. So it looks to dive dive off of this curb. So I get turned around and kind of see the, the neighborhood. Hello. So this is the slope as it comes down. So I want to show you how it comes off the street and then goes down to the house. So you know we've got good parking and stuff but I don't know how your feelings would be about how this driveway comes down like it does it seems to have a decent slope I don't know if that would affect how the camper is able to be back down in the driveway or not So here is that extra garage that's in the back. And then as you can see, there's a nature preserve that is behind here. So that kind of dives off into some trees. Um, place that is on this property. And then it comes down to the back. So there's a the door there and then the additional door. So this one's gonna be to the garage and that one is to the basement. Poured wall foundation, vinyl siding seems to be a newer roof so here's the front porch into the house to the left we've got the living room coming where it's L shape and opens up to the dining room into the kitchen we've got uh, the real hard solid wood floors So it does have a new roof and here is some of the maintenance items for the house which tends to be if they leave those things out usually be pretty well maintained house the deck main floor laundry stairs to the basement bathroom So they've got this set up here with the bathroom and the closet. So I believe this would be the master. And then you've got a second large bedroom here with dual closets. And then a third pretty good sized bedroom. Fixtures are pretty well updated. There's some that are, some that aren't. I mean, that one's got brass. That one seems to be a little basic. So then we're gonna go down to the basement. This be the exit to the garage. It's a very long garage, as you can tell. They've got all their stuff in here, but uh, I would say that you'd be able to fit about the longest truck that you're probably going to want to fit in here. Um, just, uh, you know, obviously we have a ceiling that is, I'm going to guess about eight feet. And 
And then down here, got the family room. And it has the built-ins along the back. Non-conforming bedroom here. And then an additional non-conforming bedroom in the basement with a large storage area over here and then a door to the garage through the storage area. Here's your heating and air conditioning. It's a Lennox. It's a high efficiency. Uh, seems to be in pretty good shape. Water softener. Um, yeah, I would tell you that uh, as far as uh, cleanliness and, um, and that, that uh, I think the house is, uh, is in really, really good uh, condition. It smells good. Um, you know, you can just tell it's well cared for and clean. So I am going to send this over to you and we will talk here shortly. Uh, if you have any questions, just give me a call uh, if I don't talk to you before. Okay, talk to you soon.